Okay, well, you are his first elected official backing him. I mean, it, I don't think it's, it's being too far out of the realm here to say that he is not a long shot because he has a lot of money, but he doesn't have institutional support. He has you, and he has Erie County uh, GOP Chairman Nick Langworthy, who we also saw there in, in that video. It, it, and so, you know, Rick Lazio is the choice of the conservative party and also of the Republican Party. Now he's facing a primary. But why would you be backing a guy splitting really with the party that of which you're a member to back a dark horse? I mean, let's see, he could end up being a spoiler. Well, let, let's face it, I'm a businessman first, uh, and, and I happen to be the county executive running Erie County like a business and implementing my reform measures, and it's working. Carl will do the same thing in Albany. The other candidates won't do it. So uh, while politics was at play, and I'll call it politics at its worst, uh, and, and even within the Republican Party, uh, Carl is a candidate for the people. And I suspect uh, we're going to see a lot of enthusiasm for Carl as his campaign moves forward. And uh, the fact of the matter is, uh, I can't explain the, the endorsements for Rick uh, with the other parties. And the conservatives should be quite worried that uh, he is their candidate. And when you have Andrew running as the Democrat and Independence Party, and you have Carl running as the Republican and the taxpayer candidate, that kind of leaves the conservative party hung out there in a very dangerous place come November. Did you even consider endorsing Rick Lazio and have you spoken to Rick Lazio prior to making this endorsement today? No, I have not spoken to Rick Lazio since he was endorsed and I would never uh, go down that road because he's not talking about the fundamental changes needed to fix our state. It's uh, you know political sound bites and there's no energy there and uh, clearly his uh, uh, his lack of enthusiasm is evidenced by his recent financial filings. So uh, I, I don't view him as a credible candidate. Carl is the real deal. He is not only a credible candidate, he's the only one talking about the issues. I said earlier today, the best Andrew Cuomo is doing right now is saying he'll work to hold the line on taxes. We're the highest tax state in the nation. We've lost 40 percent of our population relative to the rest of the country. Businesses don't have money to invest, and we're stuck with uh, uh, things like Excelsior programs as a desperate move to try to convince people to uh, put jobs here, when in fact, if we had North Carolina's relative tax burden, we'd be a booming state again. Carl's talking about the real issue. Okay, so